What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodyMe.com and in this video, we're going to add sounds to our games with Pygame and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to add sounds to our games in Pygame. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodyMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos to teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership It's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video we added this text, you see we have impact in this danger text. In this video I want to add sound effects. Now we're going to add sound effects and we're also going to add like background music. And you can see I've got this little guy here and when I push down, hopefully you can hear this. You hear that? It makes a little move noise or something and, and that's what we're going to look at in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Pi Game series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got the code from our last video. If you didn't see that, check the playlist. And I've just renamed it sounds.py. So uh, we can get rid of this fonts thing. Now, outside of our loop, we need to load our sound effects. And of course, before we do that, we have to have sound effects. So where can you find uh, cheap or free sound effects? Well, there's tons of places you can go online. If we head over to, to Google and we type in free game sound effects, something like that, you can find a bunch of things. Uh, let's go free game sound effects creator. There's all kinds of these little 8 bit sound maker things, and they all pretty much act the same. Well, not this one. You need to <laughs> plug in for it, but like, you can see if you hear this, so you can hear those. Power up. And you can play around with all these different, you know, things here if you put it, you know. But the one that I like is called leshylabs.com. And the reason why is because it has actual background music as well. So you can come down here to SF Maker, and you'll notice this looks the same. But down here at the bottom, they have some examples, and you can see the song mode. So jingle. Can you hear that? <laughs> All right, they're real cheesy, but. Oh, song variant. I like that. So let's use this song variant one as our background. So when you click on it, you can come over here and just very easily save this. So I'm going to click this. And first, let's name this, uh, I don't know, BG. Dot wave and then just go ahead and save this. Now what you want to do is save this into the same directory where your Pygame file is sitting. So for us, that's going to be in the C slash games directory. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to create a new folder and I'm just going to call it sounds. And inside of here, let's just save that BG and it's a wave file. So, okay. Now we need some sound effect also. So Let me reload this page and then well, that one's fine. Let's just go ahead and grab this and I'm going to call this sound underscore one, save this into that same sounds directory. So we've got some sounds now. How do we actually use them in our game? So let's come down here and let's create a variable called sound underscore one. And this is going to be a pygame dot mixer dot sound. And then we just need to pass in where this is sitting. So we put this in our sounds directory. And we called it sound underscore one dot wave. So that looks good. Now we can play our sound effects. And to do that, we just call sound underscore one dot play. So, okay, let's go ahead and save this. And this will just play it as soon as the thing loads. So let's head over to our terminal and let's run Python sounds.py. Boom, as soon as that pops up, it makes that noise. So we can add a little sort of time delay if we want. Uh, let's go here and well, let's just add it right here. Time delay. And here we can just go pygame dot time dot delay and then put and this is in milliseconds. So if you want to wait one second, that would be 1000 milliseconds or two seconds would be that. If we wanted to then play this again, we could do that. Save this, run this guy one more time. So the sounds happened before I could even drag this thing over here. Hopefully you heard that, but the first one happened and then the second one happened two seconds later. So, okay, that's interesting. Now we can also play around with the volume. Let's go ahead and change this. Let's put this up here. Let's give this a three second delay so that I have time to drag it over. Now let's come over here 
and let's let's say change the volume of the sound effect. And to do that, we can go sound underscore one dot set underscore volume. And then here, this is a value between zero and one. So if we wanted to take it down real low, we could do like 0.1 or like 0.2 or something like that, right? So now from now on, when this gets called, it will be very quiet. So let me run this and even see if we can hear it on this microphone here. Uh, you may not be able to hear it because I put it down so low, but let's come back over here and run this guy again. And I don't know if you could hear the difference there, but it's definitely quieter. And that's how you do that now. Uh, you may like that, you may not. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. And also, let's turn this guy off as well. Now, how do we use these on demand? Well, we can grab this guy right here, sound1.play, and anytime we want this sound to happen, we can just call that same thing. So if we come down here to where we press, for instance, the down key, we might pop that in right there. If we save this, head back over here, run this guy again. Now, whenever we press down, oh, that's loud. Over, up, over, nothing but down. Well, that's kind of annoying, isn't it? <laughs> right? So that's definitely louder. You could also turn the volume down if you want or whatever. Super easy to use sounds, and that's really all there is to it. Now, that's a sound effect. It is generally kind of short, a figure jumping, something shooting, something like that. How do you get actual background music, like a theme song to play during the whole game? Well, we could do that. Remember we downloaded that background clip. Let's come up here and let's say load background music. And to do that, we call pygame.mixer.music.load. And here again, we wanna put this, point this to our sounds directory and we call this bg.wave. So that will load it. Next, we need to play the music, or play the BG music, I should say. And to do that, we call pygame.mixer.music.play. And then this passes a couple of arguments. The first one is how many times we want this clip to loop around. If you want to play the whole clip twice, you would put a two there. If you want it to just loop continuously forever, that's negative one. The next argument is where in the song do you want to start? And I just want to start at the beginning, so that's 0.0. .0. So uh, let's say repeats and where to start playing, something like that. And that's all there is to it. Let's go ahead and save this, head back over here and run this guy. Can you hear that? But you get the idea, pick any music you want or create your own. There's lots of websites that let you create background music and game music and things like that. You can play around with that as much as you want, but really it's just that easy. Now, if we wanted to stop this at some point, so let's come up here and let's create a delay here. And let's say we want to delay five seconds, let's say, and then delay, then stop music. So that'll delay it five seconds. To stop this, we just call pygame.mixer.music.stop. Now you might wanna do this if your character dies or something, you wanna stop the music or whatever, uh, go to a different type of music, anything you want. Anytime you wanna stop your music, you could just do that. So let's go ahead and save this and run it. All right, so it went for five seconds and then it stopped. So those are sound effects and music in Pygame, super easy to do and a lot of fun. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So it's access to all my courses, over 60 courses, thousands of videos and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 180,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Alder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.